Okay, we are here with Richard Murdoch, who is running for the United States Senate as a Republican in a state where I have a lot of relatives, Indiana. How's the race going so far? It's going incredibly well, sir. We are almost exactly 90 days as of today from primary day, which will be on May 8th. And we're getting ready to make a bit of history and taking out a 36-year incumbent senator. Of course, that would be Dick Luger, someone who's known as President Barack Obama's favorite Republican. And I can assure you that is a title I will never hold. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not a title to which I would aspire personally myself. Um, now, Senator Luger is actually, from what I read, um, getting into some interesting issues with his residency. Is um, is, is he actually going to be able to be on the ballot? What's going on with that? Well, that's a great question. Just a couple hours ago, the uh, filing period closed, so he had filed to be on the ballot. He used, as he's done for many years, the address of the home up in northern Indianapolis. The problem is he's not lived in that house nor owned that house. Since 1977. So there's a real question whether or not he's going to be able to make his position on the ballot. Senator Luger isn't living in that house. So where, do you know where he is living at the time? Well, he certainly has a home in Virginia. Um, he was elected in 1977 and bought that house shortly thereafter. On the old. So he's been there for many years. And, uh, I understand part of the report that came out yesterday was actually, oddly enough, that was the Democratic Party at the end of it, but this out. They reviewed his travel records and apparently in the last 22 years he's spent about 360 days in Indiana. So less than one year in total over the last 22 years. So it really raises the question to the constitutional definition. Is he an Indiana resident? Exactly. <laughs> and the Constitution says you have to be an inhabitant of the state that you wish to represent. It doesn't say you have to be a voter. I think that's implied, but it does say you have to be an inhabitant. Okay, great. Well, you know, one of the issues that, um, another thing that I've been paying attention to with the Senate is the fact that it is now well over a thousand days and they haven't passed the budget yet. Indeed. Uh, it, what a travesty. You know, we have a uh, system run amok in Washington, D.C. when we can go that thousand days without a budget. And unfortunately, the federal government's working like most people who don't have a budget. They forget what they're taking in versus how much they have to spend. And uh, every day we're spending more than $4 billion in excess of what the government takes in. That's how much our debt increases every single day, and it's got to stop. Okay, well, what's what's next for your campaign? What are your plans over the next couple months? Uh, work real hard, uh, sleep very little, and travel a great deal. Uh, you know, Indiana doesn't look like a very big state on the map, but when you travel it as I do, day after day after day, it is a huge challenge. But our polling numbers are fabulous, and we're going to win this race and make a bit of history in Indiana. Well, that sounds really exciting. Where can people find out about you and your campaign? Thank you so much for asking. Uh, please go to richardmurdoch.com, and Murdoch spells a little bit different. It's M-O-U-R-D-O-C-K, richardmurdoch.com. We keep all of our TV commercials, our radio spots, a lot of press releases there, and of course people can always go there to donate too, and we would appreciate that. Okay, great. And just a reminder, everybody, you know, if you're in a blue state that can't elect a Republican, this is the one of the ways that you can make a difference across the country. You can donate in places like Indiana, places like my state of Florida. Search out the conservative candidates with the good ideas. You give them 10 bucks, somebody else gives them 15 bucks, $50, $100, it adds up so fast. So please go to richardmurdoch.com, check them out, see if you like his ideas, and if you do, consider giving him a couple bucks and supporting him. So thank you so much for being here with us today. My great pleasure. Thanks, man.